Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Rain, and if you're not, welcome back. So today I thought I would do a really quick tutorial on how I do the uh, fake freckles with um, my makeup. This is really fun to kind of just add on to a look that's otherwise looking kind of boring. Uh, and with spring, I'm really inspired by this sort of like Midsummer's Night Dream, fairy, floral, beautiful, um, kind of look and I think adding freckles to much more natural looks really kind of gives that sort of ethereal um, feel and that's that's kind of where I'm at when I'm inspired by that um, but yeah so this technique is really easy all you need are two brow pencils one that is for blonde and one that is for brunette and then um, a beauty blender with your foundation left over on it or a powder brush with your powder foundation left over on it depending on you know what kind of foundation routine you have um, yeah these don't need to be expensive products this is a um, essence eyeliner pen or eyebrow pencil and honestly this is the one that's been working the best for me thank you so much for watching if you want to see how I did this keep on watching hey guys so I'm going to start off with having two brow products on hand one that is like a blonde and one that is a brunette these are um, just brow pencils from essence it doesn't really matter the quality I actually have yet to find one that like really doesn't work for me you just have to alter it if it's a drier formula um, maybe try to pack on a little bit more if it's a more liquidy formula try to be a little bit more light-handed with it um but yeah so i start with these two colors and i keep my beauty blender that i've used for my face on hand you can use your uh, foundation brush or um even better if you're using powder foundation which i do sometimes keep the brush that you applied the powder foundation on hand um it works a little bit better than the liquid one liquid like formula technique but um, yeah, so uh, let's just get into this. I'm going to be starting off with the blonde pencil first. And because this is a dryer formula, I'm just going to warm it up on the back of my hand. Um, because the dryer formulas will take a little bit longer to get onto the skin. And I'm starting off by applying a lot of dots on the cheek area close to the nose. And I'm kind of pressing, twisting, and removing like that. And at this point, these freckles literally look the same as what you can see of my freckles because I have very slight freckling because of just sun damage over the years. I do wear SPF, but um, I'm pale as fuck, so any uh, time I'm in the sun, I get more freckles. Um, I'm pulling this up onto the nose and up to sort of in between my brows. Um, the areas that I like to put uh, the freckles are, are the sort of wide area around my nose, my chin, and then up um, into my brow sort of area. So I'm going to add a couple onto my chin. Uh, and this is layer number one. You're going to do a couple layers. I know somebody who does this when she's breaking out. She just puts freckles on her breakouts and I'm like, I never knew I was so dumb until you proved yourself such a genius. Jesus. So um, that's a really great way to speckle out your complexion so that any other sort of discoloration doesn't look as noticeable. So the goal of this, I accidentally just made a line, but this is the first layer so it doesn't really matter. The goal of this is to kind of just get an even sort of layer wherever you're going to want freckles to be. Um, and they're, you're not trying to make them very discernible, like very standing out, you're just trying to make them kind of just make a little carpet of freckles, if that makes any freaking sense. Um, and yeah, we're doing this in the center of the face. Um, it looks a little bit splotchy right now, but that's fine because we've got a lot of layers to go. So now I'm taking the dark brown one and I'm again warming this up on the back of my hand because these formulas are drier. And I'm gonna do like two or three sort of dots with this in all of the areas but not like as much as I did the last ones okay and so this up close looks a little splotchy and everywhere so you're gonna take your beauty blender that you've used to apply your makeup or your brush that you've used to apply your powder foundation and you're just gonna go over all of it and like you're not gonna pat it to the point where it's gone but you're gonna pat it to the point where it's almost gone it's going to seem like you're erasing it, but it's, it's about the process, right? Okay, so we're then going to go back in with this uh, one, the light one. 
and we're gonna sort of concentrate the the ones that are further out you're gonna kind of let those be the only ones that go out that far these next layers are gonna go more in and in so you're just adding a bunch of speckles in the area that you're gonna have a higher concentration your nose and your forehead hit the Sun the most so that's why they get freckles that last longer and show up more pigmented pigmented I don't know dark um, and yeah so you're just gonna keep kind of making little speckles and then we're gonna go over with our beauty blender one more time but really lightly this time just to kind of make them melt into the skin and then we're gonna finish off with the dark brown this is our last layer of freckles and this one you're gonna make a couple little clusters they look a lot better when you have like two or three really close together and you're gonna do them in really sort of specific areas like I'm gonna do a little two down here one over here oh yeah you can do single ones just don't do tons of them and then I'm gonna do three right there one there I used to do just like one or two of these and I just started adding a couple more because I really love it okay I think that's about enough it's really easy to start going too far you kind of have to just stop yourself and you're really really lightly gonna take just like the point of your beauty blender if you have like concealer or something left over on it use that to fill them out so you can't see any sort of like draw marks all right um, the last step in all of this uh, look at your bronzer is when you do your bronzer you're going to do your bronzer all over after you do your contour and then you're going to kind of dust it over the nose I'm gonna show you what that looks like so I'm gonna start off by doing my bronzer just in the normal places that I would do it this bronzer by the way is a light sort of tone bronzer uh, it's not super dark and it has a little bit of light reflection to it it's not um, like really sparkly but it does definitely glow a little bit on the skin and then you're gonna take a little bit on the same brush that you put it all over your face and you're gonna tap it off um, tapping it off on something hard is actually really bad for the brush so oops um, but you're gonna kind of just put it across the area that you did that it's gonna help to diffuse the especially because this has a little bit of light reflection in it it's gonna diffuse the look of the freckles so that they kind of just melt in um, last you're going to highlight I'm gonna highlight with my soft and gentle from Mac um, with the look like I have today I really want to keep the highlight um, a really neutral tone so I'm not going too cold I'm not doing anything too golden I'm just doing something really close to my skin but just you know sparkly as fuck again your highlighting is normal but then you're gonna make sure you go on top of all the areas that you did your freckles and it's gonna make them all just fade in and look like they could potentially be part of your skin um, last I'm just gonna set myself a setting spray like I normally would obviously you can blush if you want I just didn't because I don't feel like it today now I prefer using a little bit glowier of a setting spray after I've done my sort of like um, long-lasting setting spray um, and sometimes I'll do that with spray SPF, but that is like the final step that will just make everything melt together. Um, and yeah, so this is how I get my more natural looking freckled look. If you want to see up close, you can see that you definitely don't notice them as far away. They're a lot more subtle and kind of believable. Um, yeah, I think freckles are beautiful whether they're natural or created and I love doing this to sort of give a look something else. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will see you guys in my next one. See ya.